Uh, one woman who is here with me now this morning is Law. Uh, good morning to you. You uh, were in the vicinity of what happened, which is just not very far from where we are now. Uh, what What did you hear and see? Um, I was uh, in the street and then I heard very loud noises uh, and I thought they were fireworks or maybe noises from a construction site. And then a, uh, a few seconds later, I just saw four policemen running, three towards me and one the opposite way, and they were screaming, it's shooting, it's shooting, go away. And I was a bit in a shock because uh, it's so unusual to have gunshots in Paris. It almost never happens. Uh, so uh, I was not sure what was happening. I just thought maybe it's someone shooting mm -hmm. from a window. I had no idea. It could be Kalashnikovs and gunmen. And one of the policemen you think may have been one of, the, one of those who died? Um, maybe uh, one of them was running, escaping from the crime scene, and he was uh, screaming, I've been shot in the ankle. And uh, he was really like two meters away from me uh, and, and still running. And a few minutes later, like one or two minutes later, I, I was w going yeah. away a little bit to, to make sure I wouldn't take a bullet. Mm. And then I heard another gunshot, lo uh, lots of gunshots. And I understood later that there was a policeman down Absolutely. And uh, I think it's probably him because it was really seconds or one or two minutes after the shooting started and it's, it was a hundred yeah. meters from here. And really. you've said to me that you haven't cried yet but it's all coming up today. You're holding back your tears, I can see. Well, um, it's actually coming now, so... I'm sorry, it's a bit um, emotional, of course, as you can imagine. And having seen this man uh, thinking about what happened to the people in Charlie Hebdo and the policemen is really strong, of course. Absolutely, and what you're feeling is exactly what the whole of the French population is feeling this morning. H huge shock, huge emotion. Huge shock, huge emotion, but um, I definitely believe that uh, the French people won't be impressed by what happened. Of course, that. Uh, sorry, they're uh, in a big bit of sorrow, big sorrow actually, and, uh, but they all went through hundreds of gatherings saying we, I am Charlie, we're all Charlie and we will stand for freedom of speech. So they may, might have killed these people but they're not killing this. No, thank you very much and I'm sorry for what you saw yesterday. Take care of yourself, thank you. Uh, some very emotional feelings here uh, and that will continue throughout the day, as I say, a minute silence at midday today uh, and a developing, fast-moving uh, situation here. Uh, James Corden, big time for him. Of course, he's crossing over to the States for this big chat show yes. deal and he's a little bit worried about it, as he told me. It's all a bit much, if I'm honest, to, to take in and think about.